Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Drak and we are playing Distant Worlds Universe together as the Darian Republic in our The Ark series. We are still at war with the Cascadons. We took these three systems in the last episode, um, the border systems. There are only four systems in the region left, but I think we might just move on their capital after that. But they took um, one of our planets over here, uh, which have been barding before, uh, Atifoyu. AT for you do? Not sure how to say that in English, but I got Cascadon enslavers on there. I can't tolerate that at all. Somehow my defense um, fleet in here Yeah, was asleep. So they let them through. It really shouldn't have happened, but it happened somehow. I I was counting on that, actually. Was really counting on that, but it didn't happen. Okay, so we have to use the second invasion fleet to take it back. That's what I want. Oh, they're sending strike forces into the systems that we just took from them. That's cute, actually. Cute. Have they built up their military power? Yeah, 67. They're doing their best. Really have to to chop their head off or rip their heart out. We want. Ooh, the Ilta have declared war on the Cascadons. That is interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Now they look weak enough for the Ilta to take that turn. Yeah, the Ilta are stronger now than the Cascadons. Um, they're furious with us, even though we are sharing our stuff with them. They really don't like us. They don't like us as well. No one likes us, actually. Just because of our power and that the, because they want our resources. But they are afraid of us, so they're gonna keep to their to their treaties. We are way stronger than all of them together, I think. Uh, but I don't relish the Ilta getting all these places. On the other hand, we don't really care about that. I think. I don't think we really care about it. How is it looking? First invasion fleet is full. And the third invasion fleet is completely empty. And they're all hanging around um, Cicleda over here. Which is still rebelling. Rebellion should end very soon, actually. It's not really thom something that can, can stay like that for a long time. I want to put one of my generals down on the up on this fleet. So where's... Um, yeah... Franco, I shouldn't really stay on Sabloon because there are no, no more troops on it. So we're gonna put you on the first invasion, I think. That's gonna take some time. Forty-two, and I can't really get to building this thing either. Um, so Sabloon is done now. We might as well pump out some clone troopers on this. Okay, the penal colony spaceport. Oh yeah, I forgot to... I thought I had renamed this. We don't have penal colonies. We are the... Um, we are the Agdarians. We don't need stuff like penal colonies. People want to be in our... On our planets um, out of their own will because it's just so nice to live on our planets we have all this technology and all these luxury resources it's a really nice place to live what well, that mining station is under attack well good that we have defense fleets in there I if this continues I might have been uh, might be forced to build more defense fleets for this sector because it's becoming a bit annoying. Well, I could pull off the Xerox Zandia fleet to station it on Sabloon. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but what are you doing? So they're moving over here to take these fleets out. Oh, and they want to they want to take this planet. That's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Where's my second invasion fleet? Come on. 
Load the troops. I really don't want to share this system with the Eelter. That's not what I want at all. Come on. That's actually pretty sneaky of the Eelter. Trying to take my my planets by... By taking that planet over here from the Cascodon. That way they don't have to declare war on me, but they can still take the, the planet. These people are rebelling. They really don't like the new overlords. Okay. So let's go. We're gonna take our planet back. Um... Yeah, that's looking good actually. I like it. So, what about the first? First invasion fleet is full, and the third one. Is the rebellion done on this planet? Nope. Still not quite. Um, well, we, that was a pretty big um, hit for them to lose this giant planet with the 25 billion on it. So that's for certain. We could just send the third invasion fleet back to Torak to load troops. Um, and we might even do that, actually. Load troops at Torak. That might be the thing. Just gonna leave these troops on Cyclader for now. Um, we're recruiting some troops on here. Could do with a couple more. Ubrixter 3 is rebelling. Yes, yes, yes. Build a, build a small outpost, please. Do it. Oh yeah, and you're done. Okay, so we're gonna retrofit you to a planet port. How's it looking over here in Corrida? Uh, these people are rebelling as well. They won't be successful, but they are rebelling. Let's refit this to a planet port. And if we've done that, we're gonna build some defensive bases. Mm, okay, the Harkonish wanna attack the Camino. The Camino are our friends, the Harkonish are not. So we're gonna warn the Camino. Um, this is going fairly well, I'd say. Minus eight. I don't think we have to expect more rebellions from this place. What are they doing here? I wonder if they're still trying to ferry resources to this place. We really don't have any, any sort of trade relations with them anymore. There's a Kazlon fuel source on here. I might actually build something on this. Build me a gas mining station. I didn't know that the Cyclader system was so important to them. But yeah, they're doing everything to get this thing back. Oh, that's not done actually. Well, how long until this thing is done? Yeah, there's no way that we can that we can do that. So I'm just gonna send that ship to repair that gas money station. Um, that might actually be pretty clever to put the fourth tanker fleet in here. Which the fourth tanker fleet is still on build? That's it's incredible. I wonder what they are building on it. It's just eight components that are unbuilt. But somehow, this is not happening. Do we have resource shortages? You can actually find that out by going into the expansion planner and see if you have any price inflations. Nope, all our resources are 
fine. Completely fine. So it might just be the huge amount of ships that are being built over here. We have to be a bit careful uh, so as not to strangle our economy. But yeah, they have plenty of money. They have plenty of money. So that's not really a problem. Um, have we taken back our planet here? Yes, we have. Okay. That makes me happy. Would have been pretty shitty if they if we lost that to the Iltec. No, not Isian. Well, load here first, and then we're going to do Isian. I think Isian has some some troops as well. They bombarded this place, but um, I don't think we really need the terraforming facility over here anymore. I'm not sure though. I think I'm going to keep it. What are all these Ilta guys doing? They're destroying all these little stations around there. What? Are you serious? I just brought you home. Maybe I should just leave you in the tyrannical Cascadon Empire. If, you, if you're gonna be like that. Just saying. Oh. They don't have a they don't have a spaceport. Maybe that's what's what's angering them. But I have to say that is pretty annoying. Freeing freeing those guys and then they react like that. Maybe it's just some cascade on propaganda that is in their heads. That's entirely possible. Entirely possible. Um Slucas does not have any troops. Third invasion is moving down. Second invasion. Well, let's load troops at Isian. The ones that we can get. What's happening over here? So the 74th fleet of them, which is one ship, is fighting against the sector police. Troop transport. Okay. And they got... Yeah, they're fighting the Iltec as well now. That must be bad for them. So we put down the rebellion on this place. Hmm, there's hydrogen on here and Kazlon. It's a really tasty planet. So... I want you to build me a gas mining station on this. That's gonna be good. Are these people still cranky? Yeah, they are. Very much so. We're gonna we're gonna retrofit this to a system port. Uh, we're also going to build some defensive bases. They're not as good as fleets, but they're better than nothing. I think. These guys are full. Okay, so we're being attacked by ships over here. Well, I think our fighters can deal with them. <laughs> yeah, they can indeed. Firelands of Xerox Zendia is under attack. In your dreams. Not really getting anything done over here though. Because these guys are rebelling. A Brixter 3 spaceport has been done. That's good news. Let's retrofit this to a planet port. They're still annoyed as hell. But they'll come around. Don't have a lot of population on this planet. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, where's their spaceport? Okay, we're already retrofitting here. That's also a Kazlon and hydrogen planet. So that's good as well. I think we're gonna queue Swift Solace. To build a gas mining station in there. That might be good. Um Yeah, they're sending strike forces out again. We we gave them too much time to to take a breath. We've got the war fleet over here. I think I'm gonna take the first. Although what about the third? Are you are you at Torek? 
Yes, they are. Okay. So they took 8,000 off of Torek. That's not bad, actually. I'm pretty pleased with that. So we got 8,000 from here. I think we're going to take the rest of them from Seclada. Seclada can... Um, <clears throat> can defend itself, I think. Low troops over here. So we're gonna fill these two fleets with troops and then we're gonna move on their capital planet. I think that's that's gonna be good. Okay, so we've got a new armored factory at Sabloon. I really wish this thing would be done. I can't believe that they take so long for this. Well, we are at half speed, but still. What is this? Ah, yeah, okay. So we're in this system. That's fine, I guess. Oh, we got a fleet that is moving to Sakuria. That's not going to be too too nice for them. I think Rulaika still has its its things. Yes. Okay. Maybe I should try and build some some defense things. So we got some construction yards. The Ark is obviously incredibly busy. A Lorien spaceport isn't though, so we might as well build some build some sector polices over here. Earth is not doing anything. Might as well build some more sector polices. Tika 3 isn't doing anything. Let's build a couple of galaxy polices. Nelgemon 5 not doing anything. Build me some more galaxy polices. Drawy spaceport not doing anything. Couple of galaxy polices. Zerg Zandi is not doing anything. Couple more galaxy polices. Tudirium is not doing anything. Let's put a couple of system polices in there as well. Just for good measure, for a spaceport. A large spaceport. Yeah, we, we could use some, some more sector police. And I think that's going to be it for passive military power. I think that's good. Okay, so we've done our... We're done with our spaceport over here. Let's retrofit this to a planet port. Got all these troops. People are still pretty pissed. Which I understand if we have that when we conquer new planets, but I'm not that happy about it when it happens to um Oh come on. What are you doing, Rulakus Defense Force? Come on and defend this place. Can't believe it. Go on. This thing is going to be destroyed just because you're sleeping. Oh well. Oh well. We're gonna live with it. Is the fourth tanker fleet done? Nope. Not yet. Reloading troops. Yeah, we have to take their capital city. They are um, bouncing back way too fast. I don't like it at all. Uh, what about the second invasion fleet? You really didn't do a lot. Okay, then low troops at the Ark. There should be some over there. Um, got all these war fleets. Got this war fleet over here. I feel like we should take these systems, but... It's not really necessary. There's a fleet of the Ilta attacking this place, I think. A lot of capital ships. What's their size? 843. Yeah, they are... They're not at all as advanced as the Camino, who will uplift it quite a bit. Um, third Invasion. Yeah, Third Invasion is nearly there.
Um, what are my war fleets doing actually? Let's have a look at my war fleets. So the first is over here. Harassing the enemy. Um, that's actually not too beneficial to us. I think we're gonna pull them back and let them patrol the Velabre system. Where's the second war fleet? Second war fleet is what? Down there? Okay. So I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna refuel all ships at Eden Prime spaceport. What about the third? That's in Sakuria, that's fine. The fourth is over here, the fifth is in Elysium. That's actually not really needed. Refuel at nearest refueling point. The sixth is over here, the seventh is in Isian, which might not be needed. But Isian is fairly often attacked. The eighth is over there. Where's the ninth? Over there, okay, that's fine. And the tenth is in Kiedia. I think Kiedia warrants its own fleet. It's a fairly big system. Not sure if we're really profiting from the ninth in there, though. Well, they can't do stuff while we are blockading them. I just want to put my fleets over here. And, well, yeah, they're operating on a fairly high level compared to before. They have been rebuilding their things. Never say die. Oh, and we had a colossal quake. That's bad. All these poor people. Um, 65% yeah, I think we have to build a terraforming facility over here to help this planet get bounce back I think that's going to be good um, how's it coming along with loading the troops what about the third invasion fleet yeah, they're nearly done. So we have four, two full fleets. The third and the first. The second is not doing a lot. Got the second fleet that is going to refuel. Uh, we got the third that is over here, not doing a lot, but that's okay. We got the fourth. The fifth war fleet is going to refuel. Now this system is weak and is being attacked. Okay, I see how it is. Well, when the defensive bases are done, the system can't really be harassed. They might try it, but I don't think they will succeed. Um, yeah, but they are, they are bouncing back fairly quickly. I don't like it. I thought I had eradicated their resistance. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think we're gonna t we're gonna pull out the um, ninth fleet and we're gonna put them over here to the tanker fleet. Uh, let's refuel at resistance of Eden. I might actually have that might have been a bad idea. Um, oh no. Okay, it's working, I guess. But Eden Prime might be a bad spot to refuel. I'm not sure, because the um, spaceport is swamped. Okay, so all the orbital... Uh, second orbital battery has been done. Yeah, they can't do anything to this place three batteries with their with their fighters are going to wreck their fleets I think well depends on how big the fleets are that they send and they only have two defensive fleets we also got quite a quite an amount of troops on there so that's good I think 
a balloon. It's still building troops. But it's also well defended, so that's not a problem. Um, now, let's have a look. So, first invasion fleet is done. Third invasion fleet. You, you got no mission, okay. Let's have a look at how many troops are on this planet. Well, yeah, 5,000. That's not... That's not too shabby. Let's try to... To load troops here one more time. And let us also change the name of this thing. Like that. I don't like the penal colonies. I'm gonna call this Cicleda Prime. Yeah, like that. Okay. Come on, you guys. Fill that last, um, that last space with some with some people, and then let's move out. Because we got then we have with twenty thousand troops. This thing has a strength of 8,900 and the first has a strength of 1,134 and they got a troop general. I think I'm gonna send one to the third invasion fleet as well. So what are we going to send to the third invasion fleet? First world is a defender, that's okay. Um, you got a good ground attack strength but I think we need to use Harry. He's wasted on this planet, so we're gonna go to the third invasion fleet. Yeah, like that. Uh, that's also going to increase our troop strength that we have in there. What's what's it with you? What's your deal? Mm, okay, so these fleets need to be refueled as well. You can refuel at nearest refueling point. Yeah, we got a we got a mining station out there. Okay, Zack Cadax is a good space logistician. That's good. Uh, we're completing one a couple of these sector polices. That is good. Um, they got a fleet with. 10 ships in here, which is fairly bad. I feel like we can still fight them off. Barely, though. Barely, barely. Um, what's about, how about my fifth war fleet? You're still not entirely done. Two ships are not refueled, but they're being refueled right now. Second. Also need some more refueling. Fourth is doing a good job over there. First is back to Villabre. I think that station has been destroyed. Yes, it has. Okay. Um, refuel at Villabre. That might be good. Problem, if, uh, if you send them to patrol, they're going to move around all the time and then that's, that makes them burn fuel, which is not very nice. Actually, why does Seoul not have a own defense fleet? That's a bit odd. I'm pretty sure I put one in there. Okay. Come on. Refuel at the nearest refueling point. Do it. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. I think um, the third invasion fleet should be full now. Yeah, it is full. Okay. 
So we have two full invasion fleets. We're gonna take a um, couple of our refueled fleets. I think the ninth is what's over there. Yeah, they are refueled as well. So we'll take a couple of our refueled fleets and send them into their central home system, into the Meripastu system. Uh, we're gonna attack their, their home planet over here. I got a couple of penal colonies over there. But Meropest 1 is their home with a fairly impressive amount of force. I think we should be able to take it and that will actually give them a pretty bad blow because now at the moment they can pump out um, troops on there like crazy. They have the facilities, they have a very high development on there because of the wonders. And it's not really being contested. But if we can take control of this system, so we have um, nearly 30 billion on here. 14.5 billion on here, um, 16.5 billion on here. Uh, is that a planet as well? No. Well, so we got 30, um, 60 billion in this system. So if we take that uh, system from them, they're going to be down to 200 million population, and that's going to hurt them quite a bit. They've gone up again in military strength. I think it's mostly troops, but um, we're seeing some more fleet operations from them again, which I don't like. So I want to cut the head off or rip the heart out or whatever, however you want to say it. But that's going to happen in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing. There's still a couple of episodes left to um, deal with the cascadons. I'm not going to stop before they are before they are dealt with. So I hope you join me for that in the next episode. Thanks and bye-bye.